Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a food bank haul for you. This is our local one that we get to go shopping. We can pick and choose what we would like. Um, there are some limits. Since I'm a family of six, I get two of everything unless they have an extra bin where they have an obscene amount of things. There usually is bread and some produce where you're allowed a few extra. All right, so let's get into it and I'll show you what I got. I'm gonna start out with the bread. We got some Cheesecake Factory. This brown bread is so good, guys. I actually worked at the Cheesecake Factory when I lived in St. Louis, and oof, it is so good. So I grabbed that when they have it. Here they have some maple French toast, English muffins. Guys, these smell like friggin' McGriddles. Oh, I've never seen maple French toast ones before. So those are a good find. And then Wheat Montana cracked nine grain for some sandwiches for the kids. And then they had lots of fruits and veggies that were going out this week. So they were letting you take some extra. This was just in the extra bin, a bag of kale. They had some super ready to make banana bread bananas. A couple bags of nectarines there. And these are in fairly good shape, so that was good. And then a couple of different colored bell peppers. I'm actually going to be making some pepper jelly with jalapenos. And it's nice to have red peppers in there to do a pop of color. So I grabbed some of those. And then they had these mammoth sweet potatoes again. So I grabbed a couple more. This one, one of them's a little squishy, need to use it. So I'm going to be able to be doing a whole bunch of sweet potato recipes. So if you're not subscribed, now's a good time to do that. And then for the dairy, they had this thing of almond milk. Never really had almond milk before. Um, I'm sure you drink it just like regular, regular milk, right? And then a gallon of milk. And then they had this oat milk butter. Thought that was interesting. Never tried that before. So I don't discriminate against butter though. And decided to give it a try. For the sweet treat, don't mind the dishwasher. <laughs> Mama Bear got to do some dishes. For some sweet treat, I had the they had this from Costco. They had ones that had just chocolate chip in them, but I like I like macadamia nut cookies, so I grabbed the one with the three. So these will be good rewards for the kids. Let's see if we can get their room clean. And they had a lot in the extras bin. You could take one water per family, one per family member but I just got one lemon and one lime. I'm the only one who really drinks it. They had Benito Flakes, which is, I think, just fish scales, fish flakes, smoked and fermented skipjack fish. No, oh, I've never seen anything like that. I'm like, well, I'll give it a try. Do you guys, have you guys used anything like this before? Have you seen this? I don't know. Husband was talking about living in in Japan a couple of years ago you wanted to move to Japan well here husband I'll bring Japan to you <laughs> got a nice thing of Starbucks coffee which these are like what 10 bucks a piece looks like it expired which is why they donated it which is great I mean uh, coffee don't expire for me a couple of Laura bars a couple of Laura bars um, they had a couple of different flavors I grabbed the peanut butter cookie Probably gonna just put those in husband's lunch. A bag of pearl couscous. Actually never had couscous before, but it looked fun. So I grabbed that. Can of whole peeled tomatoes, El Dentido. Grabbed that. Some rich barbecue molasses that looked really good. So I got that. So zero calorie sweetener. I've heard monk fruit is a good sweetener that um, people on keto or with diabetes use. So that was a big bag they had there. So I grabbed that. I'm gonna be looking for some recipes on how I can use that. Well, this guys is aromic bitters. I'm pretty sure this is alcohol, 40, 40, 40, 4.7% alcohol. I didn't even know that they could give away alcohol at the food bank. And um, I'm sure you, I think, I've seen like people add a splash of these into cocktails. I'm not too sure. What do you guys think? What do you you seen these used for? They did have some cough syrup, which I thought was really nice. So orange, I don't think I've seen that flavor before. Oh, I grabbed one of that. It never hurts to have extra medicine, especially for the kiddos. And then just a thing of Italian vinaigrette. A lot of people will use this as a marinade. I mean, canola oil, not exactly the best oil, but you know, we're not picky. So we'll use it up some way. 
And then for my meat choices, nothing too crazy this week. I got a big thing of stew meat that I'm actually probably going to can up. I have some other stew meat. It's been a couple days since I got this all, so it's thawing out. But um, I have some stew meat in my freezer I could pull out, and then we could just can up a bunch of this meat to have some cooked beef on the shelf. And then just a pack of chicken thighs. Chicken thighs are wonderful and delicious and usually fairly cheap, but I love chicken thighs. So grab a pack of the family chicken thighs and those are our meats for this week. Now that you saw all the goodies I got at the food bank, I'm going to be cooking up some grub and it happens to be morning. So we're gonna be making some breakfast. I am going to be utilizing those English muffins that we got and make some breakfast. So let me get you in close and I'll show you what we're doing. Here's all of our supplies we're gonna be using for breakfast. I have those maple French toast muffins. I have some maple sausage in my fridge I need to use up anyway, so I'm gonna be cooking that. We got some store-bought eggs. These are the last I got from my wick. I don't get wick anymore because my boys turned five. So this is the last of the store-bought eggs. And then I just have some sharp cheddar that I'm using up. So first thing I'm gonna do is get these in my toaster oven. All right, our muffins are in. I'm gonna open up this sausage. I probably could have just cut this into patties, but that's okay. And take off a piece, warm it. Try and get one big enough for the muffin. They are gonna shrink up a bit. three so I don't overcrowd my pan. When I can tell that the sausage is ready to get flipped, you can see on the side here how the gray is kind of coming up to the sides of it. That means that that part is cooked. So it means that the inside of it, the same way halfway is cooked. So flip, yeah. Just want a nice sear on them. There we go. I'm gonna just let this cook for a couple more minutes until they're no longer jiggly. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this guy off. This one is a little smaller. Oh, crumbly, that's all right. You can tell it's maple, look at all that sticky stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, this guy's looking done. Lots of times when you get build up on your spatula like this, it makes it harder to get up and underneath it because you got this all caked in here. So if this happens, I like to give my spatula a scrape real quick before I go in for another one. Yeah, oh, that's a little better. Yeah, then you can get up and under it again. Let's do a couple more patties. Put these sausages in. Like once you can see the gray about halfway up, give it a flip. Our 
our sausages are done. I'm gonna pull them off. Now normally I'm a firm believer in using the same pan to cook my eggs in, but with this being maple sausage, it's just super sticky and burnt and I don't wanna use that for my eggs. So I'm switching pans. All right, so I'm gonna add some bacon grease in there and let it heat up. All right, bacon grease is melted. Let's add some eggs. And for my eggs, I like to pop them in the eye that yolk broken up. I am a fan of runny eggs, however, husbano is not, and probably neither are the kids, so that's okay. And you don't really want a, too much of a runny egg on a breakfast sandwich, so we'll pop them in the eye. Make sure they're kind of separated a little bit. Let them cook a little bit before we flip them. And I'm gonna put a smidgen of salt on this side. My second side doesn't usually take quite as long to cook. This is the point. I'm going to add some cheese to get it kind of melty. Sliced cheese would work obviously a little better than shredded, but I just find sliced cheese so expensive, like abnormally expensive. So I just buy it by block and just use shredded. I'm gonna start assembling. We do like mayonnaise on our breakfast sandwiches. That's something, I don't know, my mom's always put mayonnaise on them. So that's what I do. I'm gonna put our sausages down. And our fried egg with cheese on top. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And that, my friends, is how you make a homemade egg muffin. These English muffins taste so good. I can't believe I've never seen the French toast ones before. I am definitely going to be a fan of these from now on, if I can find them. Um, yeah, so a simple breakfast sandwich you can make from everyday ingredients in your pantry. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bird's.